Hello there. So, as you can see, I'm a lot more uh, in the green today, uh, a lot more in nature, although you can't really call this nature since uh, this is organized, you know, man-planted, man-made. Um, you know, but it's a lot better than what you usually see in the city, uh, especially with the animals and the uh, ecological garden just over there so today's video is going to be fairly long uh, a lot longer than usual um, obviously you already know how long it is based on the fact that you can see the view count you know the, the length uh, count but um, yeah we'll have to see how long it gets so we're going to talk about life and we're going to talk about uh, business and what's up with me what's up with you so uh, if you're ready for like a good, good, good sit down with me, then, um, you know, turn off your cell phone, put everything aside and uh, let's get on to it. Nice. So the quality of the video has obviously improved. Uh, many people have been asking me, how the heck do I do it? And the answer is pretty simple. I just flip my phone over to the front camera, you know, the, the one where you usually take front pictures with. Uh, and I just learned to hold it properly and then it looks super super HD and uh, cool and uh, Finally, let me also say sorry for any uh, sound problems that there might be I mainly wind Because uh, there's pretty strong wind right now. I could do it without the mic uh, But then you would hear a lot more background noise and would be wouldn't be as pleasant to the ear as it is right now so without further ado, uh, let's get on to it. So uh, I'm sure that much like me, you are striving to find a really good balance in your life between uh, the, the internal state, kind of feeling happy, calm, relaxed, uh, and also your external state, meaning how good your life is at that moment. Uh, so this took me a long, long, long time to figure out uh, because I thought that my internal state was really dependent on my external state. So if life wasn't good, uh, that means that I can't be happy or if I'm not happy, it means that life is not good. So I did not know how to make that, um, that separation where your life could be amazing and you still are unhappy or your life is really not that good, uh, but you are still at peace inside. So that lack of separation uh, made me do a lot of really bad things, a lot of really stupid decisions uh, that I ended up, uh, I won't say regretting, because I don't regret my anything I do, but more like, you know, oh, that was not a smart move, <laughs> um, even though I learned from everything. Uh, but you don't have to learn from, you know, fucking up like I did. Uh, you can learn from uh, other people fucking up. Uh, that's what Warren Buffett says. So, unless you can find uh, internal peace, like unless you can find that place where, where you are right now, you can be at peace with it. Again, it doesn't mean um, no, you know, not wanting to change it. It just means not resisting it, um, not telling a story about why this shouldn't be happening, uh, stuff like that. Until you can do that, uh, any change you make uh, will be, uh, as Eckhart Tolle says, uh, purely cosme cosmetic, because uh, internally the person that created that situation has not really changed, uh, just kind of w wears a different costume. So um, the way I would go about it if I were you right now and I were like in a position where I wasn't happy with where I am is first of all I would ask where am I right now like for example you might be in a room uh, watching me on YouTube so I would just be with that um, and like take life one moment at a time literally like you can plan but even while planning you actually plan rather than uh, being in the future like oh I gotta do this already this has to happen already it's not going to work, blah, blah, blah. So, so first of all, you let go of the internal resistance and that's what uh, is going to enable uh, sort of the higher intelligence to come out. Uh, because again, even if you do improve your life out of a place of resistance, 
usually has really, really bad results because the resistance either uh, manifests in a different area of life. Uh, so you might be happy, you know, might be making a lot, a lot of money, but uh, you hate people or you, um, you know, completely destroy your health or have really bad relationships. Um, and on the opposite end, uh, it might actually come back and haunt your success. So you might actually get to uh, where you want financially or lifestyle and then feel the same emptiness again. And this time it's actually worse because you know that you actually did what you thought was going to make you happy and you're still stuck there. So it's, it's actually a lot, lot worse because now uh, you may be one step closer to finding the truth that the internal state uh, is independent of the external state, but you actually also one step closer to going crazy uh, like I did and just saying, okay, I need to do more extreme shit and more extreme shit. So a person who has not really realized that the internal state is divorced from the external state, that you can find peace in any external situation, uh, that person will never achieve true success because uh, he's always either going to be striving and looking for something or he's going to be um, um, stuck on the lower level because his... Uh, his uh, resistance actually keeps him there because it's part of his identity. Uh, so if you are, uh, if you created a good external life, but you still haven't found um, internal peace, then it's not worth anything. But if you created internal peace, if you found it to be more, uh, more precise, then uh, you can also achieve um, external success and it will not escape you because it will come from a healthy place um, where you always make the right decisions uh, at least in the sense that they're not going to be based on a false identity or on the you know the desire to preserve uh, resistance and to create actually problems for yourself so this is like the this year's uh, biggest epiphany uh, you know every year I have different epiphanies based on where I am and I needed this kind of letting go thing, this uh, dropping, this losing thing uh, to, to gain these epiphanies. So these are not epiphanies that you learn on the up and up cycle. You actually learn them on the down cycle uh, when shit is, uh, is bad, you know, when stuff does not work well, uh, when you lose stuff, uh, that's when it comes to you. Um, so that's pretty much about the kind of the epiphanies that I had, you know, regarding life, business and everything. Uh, so right now I'm almost done with the uh, course I'm building, uh, the $1,000 course. Um, it's really, really cool um, because once I'm done with it, you know, uh, I, I hate doing it. Like I hate... Um, I like building it, but I don't like the back-end things, the whole technical aspect of building the funnel. Uh, that's what I like about it, though, is that you only do it once. So you do it properly once, and then you can work with a company that makes sure your funnel gets better and better, uh, you know, by optimizing it. Uh, but then I'll be able to focus just on videos, and then I'll be able to upload, um, you know, like three, four, maybe five times every day. Um, because I feel like after I'm working on the, you know, the funnel and everything, it feels like you're, you have like Asperger's, like, like, like some sort of uh, autism. Like it's, it's, it's so much, uh, information, things to think about that you tend to get like, um, uh, really, really Asperger. Like you just, uh, have a tough time communicating later and it does, uh, definitely show in the videos, I believe, like a different energy. Um, maybe less, uh, less empathetic, uh, energy. Um, but, but, but it's good. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I thought this would be kind of a longer video. Uh, but as I've said, I'm not really there kind of, um, I hope you did take some lessons out of it and, uh, definitely let me know if you have any questions, because uh, I'd love to help you. 
Um, and yeah, that's today. <laughs> so uh, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao, ciao.